my cotton sale to my great vineyard. That's the only way you get in them gates. That's the only way that y'all can pay us back. And after that, you go going to that lake where you can backstroke until you well done. You know the same way I like to order steak. The Sakari set move is one unit and the chief priest we coordinate. And these last days is like birth pains. We just sitting back until the water break. Right? Can they walk together and be in agreement? Let me get this on hard with Sam. Let me get, uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 11. Start at 10. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, and verse 10. Let us oppress the poor and righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Right, let us not respect the little baby of these people or, or the old head, right, that barely can walk. Let us not respect none of these people from the top to bottom. That's these nation's mindset. Come on. Let, like let our strength be the law of justice. Come on. For that which is feeble. For that which is what? Feeble. Right, the what Mark was saying said he was, he said feeble. that we were feeble of feeble people. And that's crazy, right? Because last time I checked, blacks and Hispanic men are the most strongest people that's around. That's right. Bro. Right now, all of a sudden, how are we feet? Read that part again, 11. Uh, <laughs> let our, our strength be the law of justice. Come on. Let our strength be the American way. Come on. Let us, it's like, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Right? So let's set up Planned Parenthoods, right? To eliminate their babies. Why? Because, right, you can live your best life, right? You're only 25, right? Get rid of them. Get, get rid of the child. But what if somebody got rid of your dumb ass? Right. See that? <laughs> See that? You wouldn't be right. here to get rid of them. That's right. Right? Bring but nobody out. wants to weigh that in the balance, right? But the Lord said an eye for an eye, two for two. That's right. Ah, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, and verse 4. Who thou hatest for doing most odious works. Right, who thou hatest for doing most odious works. Mm -hmm. Of witchcraft and wicked sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. Also those merciless murderers of children. Merciless murderers of children. Black and Hispanic men, right, are merciless murderers of children. Right, and it's not just our men. Right, we need to get on these women. Right, because a lot of women feel the power is in my hand. It's my choice. Right, I mean, I was gonna say the the, the number, the leading murder uh, of the Black Hispanic community is abortion. Right, right. doing that. Right, that, that that is, and the crazy part is, I mean, uh, bro, and a, a, a funny uh, 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 clip he said about uh, um, black women, yeah, you know I mean, in abortion, right? Because he went into the abortion clinic and he had 50 Cent playing on the car and she came out and she was like, I don't want to hear all this rap stuff, like all this violence, murder. He was like, hold up, this is just entertainment. You just came from the hitman office. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like he's just, he just entertaining the people. Like, you really just get, you getting it done. Right, right. Yeah, you got like two, two bodies in your belt. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. 50 Cent just jumping. I mean, he just rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 you were really getting by. So that's what's going on. Let me get that Baruch. Baruch 4 and 21. Touch it real quick. Let me get uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 12 and 9. Come. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 21. Be of good cheer, all oh my children. Right, our people need to be of good cheer. Why? Because this kingdom's getting ready to end. That's right. why we need to start being, having electric going through our body. Because we know that we're close to the finish line. That's right. Cry unto the Lord, Come on. and he will deliver thee. Right, we got to cry to the Most High God. In the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Come on. And he will deliver you. And he will what? He will deliver, deliver you. Come on. From the power and hand of the enemy. From the power and hand of these damn um, um, red... Damn, they the real wetbacks, man. They, they the real wetbacks, man. Because they're going to be swimming up a creek, right, with no damn path. God, verse 22, for my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you. That he will what? That he, he will, will save, save you. you. Right, our hope is in Yahweh that he going to save us at the last. Come on. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One. Come on. Because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. Come on. Verse 23, for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but God will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Come on, he gonna turn our mourning and weeping around. That's what he gonna do. Matter of fact, hold that, let me get Revelation 21 and 4. Right, he gonna wipe away all our tears. That's what the Lord gonna do for us. Right, but for all y'all other nations, get ready to have y'all tissue, cause it's more and more crying that's getting ready to happen for y'all. All right, right. you see that? Our tears gonna get wiped away, and y'all eyes gonna start getting full of water. Come on. 
21 and 22. Oh, man, four. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from your eyes. And there shall be no more death. There shall be no more what? Death. Right. The death for our people. Right? Because we're going to live for a thousand years. Right? That's then right. we get translated. But y'all going to die. Right. Yeah. Neither sorrow nor crying. Yeah. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Right? For the former things are passed away. But if God love everybody, why is he not going to put the laws, statutes, and commandments in all races? Why? Because he wants somebody to afflict. And it's y'all turn. Come on. Verse 23. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but God will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So they shall shortly see your salvation. Shortly, y'all gonna see us being beamed up, right? Shortly, y'all gonna see that, man. Shortly, y'all seeing our affliction being set in these right low budget houses, right stretching and surviving. But then shortly after, y'all gonna see us get delivered. Right. Let me get uh, let me get that Jeremiah. Y'all never up to you. Revelation chapter. It's locky. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter twelve, verse nine. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Right, the birds round about these other nations round about are is against them. They're against the truth of the most high God. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have tried my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. Right, and these pastors is helping to destroy God's chosen people. Why? Because he's saying God loves everybody. Don't worry about your heritage. Just be a nigga. Right? Don't worry about that. Right? Just be happy to be saved by grace. To be a Gentile saved by grace. Right? That's the song. Right? That's said in the Christian church. But we come out here to sing a greater song. That's right. We get back in the room. God. Verse 24. Like as now the like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so they shall surely see your salvation from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you. Oh, I said what? My children. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from God. chapter 15 and verse 15 all the days of the afflicted are evil but he that is of a merry heart have a continual peace right we are of a merry heart that's why we don't need the eagles to win to be happy right you know? see that you know? better is little with the fear of the lord right better is a little with the fear of the lord better is it having just a little a tiny bit fear of the heavenly father than what they great treasure and trouble their with. Right, they have a great treasure and, um, and trouble their with. Why? Because it's only trouble that come with this treasure. Right? Because what? What Biggie say? Right? Uh, 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 more money, more problems. Why? Because you you have to up it. You have to keep that. Yeah, you know I mean, and it, and it, it comes with more and more trouble. So let me go back to this. God, my little children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction. Time. Shortly, we're going to see these nations' destruction. And oh, happy days it will be. Come on. Wow. And shall tread upon his neck. Verse 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways. Right. My delicate ones have gone rough ways. Right. Instead of going the straight and narrow path, we decided to go the broad way, thinking that this is the way to go because everybody going on it. But we didn't know that this is actually the harder way to go than the, than the narrow path. Come on. And we're taken away as a plot caught of the enemy. Verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto God. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Verse 28. 
Or as it was in your mind to go astray from God. Right, as it was in your mind to go astray from the Heavenly Father, come on. So be in return, seek Him ten times more. Right, now you gotta double up. Right, it was in your mind to sell uh, nicks, dimes, uh, then eights, then ounces, then halves. Right, yeah, I mean, then now holes. Right, yeah, I mean, that was in your mind to sell it to your people then. So now you're serving the Lord, now you gotta be in your mind to do even more. That's how it is. God, verse 29, for he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again. For he that brought these great plagues upon our people shall do what? Shall bring you everlasting joy again. That's why you got to fear the Lord. Because the Lord is the greatest man God and good God to bless his families. Right? You know what I mean? He can bring us the most trouble or he can bring us the most joy. Right? So y'all better choose you this day. Who are you going to serve? Right? Uh, look at that Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 and if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord choose you this day whom ye will serve right choose ye this day whom ye will serve and we know who most blacks and Hispanics serve that dollar bill dollar dollar bill y'all right but what does that got y'all besides death having to chase another dollar bill 50 cents said get rich or die trying but how many people died trying to get rich right and didn't succeed in the mission Damn. See that? Is it on that? And if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord, rather if it seemed evil to serve the Lord, come on. No, you listen up to the Bible. The Bible. Right, if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, little bro, remember when we talked before? Come on, read again. If it seems what? And if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, right, you ain't gonna have too many times, bro. Come on, choose you this day whom you will serve. Back, you gotta choose you this day whom you gonna serve. Right, that's what it's falling down to. Come on, this is the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse thirty-three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. All these things shall be added unto you. Uh, drop read the last verse there. God, verse 34. Take therefore no thought. God, verse 32. For after. God, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. All right. And it shall be added unto us, right? Everything that we need in life. The Lord is going to add unto us. God, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Right. That's what Yahweh Shah said, man. He told us that. Right? I mean, let tomorrow worry about itself. Right? Today we got enough great, we got enough problems today to worry about. But y'all talking about tomorrow. We're not going to eat tomorrow. We may not eat today. What about today? Right. God, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Right, we have enough evil today to worry about, then to worry about tomorrow. Let me go back to the uh, Let me get that man. God. Verse 29, for he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Verse 30, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, he, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Right, he that gave us that name shall comfort thee, right? Who gave us what name? Yasharala, come on. Verse 31, miserable are they that afflicted thee. Right, miserable are they that afflicted us, what? God, and rejoice at thy fall. Right, and they be happy at us fall. Right, so the Lord's saying that they gonna be miserable. When it's all said and done, we gonna get the last laugh. Right, that's how it's gonna go down. Verse 32, miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy son. And who, and, and where do we serve greater than, than Babylon? So it said, miserable are the cities where we serve. Right, so Philadelphia, you got a great judgment coming your way. That's what God said. 
right? Because his children is there suffering, serving, working at Walmart, right? Working at H&M, Old Navy, right? So it's a great affliction coming to Philadelphia. Come on. Verse 33. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be so, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. So shall she be grieved. Right? She's gonna be grieved at her own desolation. Let me get this. Let me get uh Revelation. Revelation 18, 22. and prophets come on for God have avenged you on her by the Lord have avenged us over her what America when America is destroyed the Lord have avenged us right for all the wrongdoing that was done to us by Babylon right by Esau by these East Indians right by all these nations that had a hand in afflicting his chosen people come on and a mighty and a mighty angel took up a stone like a millstone and cast it into the sea Saying, thus with violence. That's with what? With violence. No, that's with peace agreements. With violence. No, that's with sitting back waiting. With, with violence. violence. That's with violence, come on. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down? Why with violence? Because it was established through violence, so it has to go down through violence, come on. And shall be found no more at all. Right, no more at all. It's talking about all these sounds, right? They come from Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Beyonce, come on. And the voice of her heart. Of a harper and musicians, musicians and the pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. Right, you ain't gonna hear no more mixtape from none of these niggas. Come on. And no craftsmen of whatsoever craft he be shall be found anymore in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle. Shall die no more at all in thee. Right, the wisdom of America is gonna be put out. And good riddance, man. Good damn riddance to this place, man. Wow. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For they merchants, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by the sorcerers were all nations deceived. Right, by sorcery was all nations deceived. That's how America deceived all races. Right, got goddamn um, um, Chinese people going around thinking that they're Americans. Right, stop wearing robes and stuff. Right, now go now go around looking like whooshes. See that? Right, that's what America would do. Right, let me get that math. Let me get that clock. God, this is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-three. This Lord said unto him, "Well done, good and faithful servant." Right, that's what we that's what we fighting for, man. That's what we put our life on the line day in and day out for. Read it from the top. Now, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 23. Come on. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. That's what we hoping for, man. This is why we do what we do, because we hope for the Heavenly Father to send his son back and for him to tell us this. Come on. Thou has been faithful over a few things. No, we've been faithful our whole life. Thou has been faithful over a few things. No, I've been perfect since birth. Thou has been faithful over a few things. Right, you've been faithful for just a few amount of things, come on. I will make thee ruler over many things. Right, the Lord going to make his chosen elect ruler over many. That's right. Come on. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Right, enter into the joy of the Lord, man. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're fighting for, man. And we want to die for this truth. All praise to the Most High God. Wow. Look at that Colossians 3.12. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God. Right, you gotta put on therefore the elect of God. Right, you put on for a block. Right, so when is you gonna put on for the Lord? Come on. Put on therefore as the elect of God. Holy and beloved. Vows of mercy. Right, vows of mercy, not killing a black or Hispanic because he stepped on your shoes. Come on. Right. Kindness. Humbleness of mind. Right, humbleness of mind. Right in Proverbs in the GNC, but in chapter 12, it says stupid men are always right. Right? Sometimes you have to be right, you gotta be wrong being right. I mean, <laughs> this is made out of history, I'm understanding. Sometimes you gotta be wrong being right. 
meekness. Long suffering. Right, long suffering. You have to suffer long for the truth and be willing to die for it. And guess what? These other religions are not willing to die for their belief. Right? right. This is why they waver away, just like the wind. Right? And they easy to get cut, man. Like, brother, brother from the job, I'm talking about some um, Muslim mistake pulling out a pack of forks. Right. Right? Why your why why your God not giving you the strength to put that down? Right. Why right. your God is not having you fear him enough for you to put that down? Right. right. Because it's not meant for Right? Yeah, uh, let me jump to 17. Verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Jesus. Give it thanks to God and the Father by him. That's what we do. We give all ground and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. We say Mawab Laba Ball. Mawab Laba Ball. You ever broke down and cried? Tears falling from your eyes. Praying to your how a God to pull you to that dotted line. Move it wrong, but I just want to stop without the octagon. I know my heart is righteous, but these curses make me compromise. Used to play the block and grind. Serving people with poison, and these same people was kidding me. But I just helped destroy him, and my brothers act like enemies. They don't know what they doing, cause they talk about the violence that lead us to a ruin. But I tightened up. Now I'm standing bold in front of Edomites. I used to dwell in darkness, but the spirit, let me see the light. Christians try to tell me about.